Lightning and thunder have captivated human beings for as long as we've been gazing at the sky. These phenomena, fierce and beautiful, stir our imagination and command our attention with the raw power they display. The crackling flash of light, followed by the deep rumble that shakes the earth, creates a spectacle that fills the sky with electric energy, leaving us in awe of nature's untamed power. To understand lightning and thunder is to delve into the mysteries of the atmosphere, electricity, and sound a journey that reveals the intricate processes behind one of nature's most extraordinary displays. Lightning begins its journey in the clouds. High above the Earth's surface, towering cumulonimbus clouds form, their massive bodies reaching up into the sky, sometimes as high as 12 miles above sea level. These clouds are often the birthplace of thunderstorms, where the conditions are just right for the magic of lightning to occur. Inside the cloud, air currents swirl, and water droplets, ice crystals, and hailstones are caught in this turbulent dance. As these particles collide, they exchange electrical charges, gradually building up a separation between positive and negative charges within the cloud. Imagine the cloud as a giant battery, with a region of positive charge forming near the top and a region of negative charge building up, up at the bottom. This difference in charge creates an intense electrical field within the cloud and between the cloud and the ground below. When this electric field becomes strong enough, it seeks to balance itself out, and lightning is born. Lightning is essentially a massive discharge of electricity. It occurs when the built-up electrical energy within the cloud releases in a sudden burst, as if nature can no longer contain the tension. The energy travels through the air, seeking a path to neutralize itself. This path could be from cloud to cloud, within a single cloud, or between the cloud and the earth. The lightning bolt you see is the visible part of this release, as the electricity superheats the air it passes through, causing it to glow. One of the most fascinating aspects of lightning is the sheer power it contains. A single bolt of lightning can reach temperatures of up to 30,000 Kelvin, about five times hotter than the surface of the sun. It is this incredible heat that causes the air around the lightning to expand rapidly, creating a shockwave that we hear as thunder. The bolt of lightning moves so fast, traveling at speeds up to 220,000 miles per hour, that it strikes before we even have time to register it. By the time our eyes see the flash, the lightning has already come and gone. Although we see lightning as a single flash, what we often don't realize is that lightning doesn't happen all at once. It actually consists of several smaller steps. The first step is called the stepped leader. This is a faint, branching path of negative charge that extends from the cloud toward the ground. It moves in a zigzag pattern covering short distances at a time, and is almost invisible to the naked eye. As it nears the gra ground, a positive charge from the surface rises up to meet it. When the two charges connect, a return stroke follows, which is the bright flash we recognize as lightning. This entire process happens in less than a second, so fast that we perceive it as a single event. Lightning is unpredictable and can strike nearly anywhere. Most people assume that it always strikes the tallest object in an area, such as a tree or building, but the reality is more complicated. While taller objects are indeed more likely to be struck, lightning can hit the ground, bodies of water, or even seemingly random locations. This randomness adds to the danger and mystique of lightning, making it a force to be reckoned with. Every year, thousands of lightning strikes occur worldwide, and while many pass without causing harm, some strikes lead to devastating fires, damage to buildings, and even loss of life. After the blinding flash of lightning, a few moments pass before the sky rumbles with thunder. Thunder is the sound produced by the shockwave of superheated air expanding and contracting rapidly as the lightning bolt passes through it. The intense heat causes the air to expand explosively, creating a pressure wave that we hear as thunder. The reason we hear thunder after we see lightning is that light travels much faster than sound. Light from the lightning reaches our eyes almost instantaneously, while the sound of thunder lags behind because sound waves move through the air much more slowly. 
The distance between you and a lightning strike can be estimated by counting the seconds between the flash of lightning and the sound of thunder. For every five seconds that, that pass, the lightning is approximately one mile away. So, if you count ten seconds, the lightning is about two miles from your location. This simple trick has long been used by people to gauge how close a storm is and whether it's moving toward or away from them. Thunderstorms are most commonly associated with warm, humid conditions, as they require rising moist air to form. When warm, moist air near the ground rises, it cools and condenses, forming clouds. If the air continues to rise, larger and more complex cloud systems develop, eventually forming thunderstorms. The greater the temperature difference between the warm air near the ground and the cooler air higher up, the more intense the storm is likely to be. These conditions are why thunderstorms are so common in tropical regions and during the summer months in temperate areas. However, lightning isn't confined to just rainstorms. It can occur in volcanic eruptions, hurricanes, and even snowstorms, though this is much rarer. Volcanic lightning is a particularly fascinating phenomenon. It happens when particles of ash, dust, and volcanic gases collide, creating a charge separation similar to what happens in a thunderstorm. The result is a dramatic display of lightning flashing through the billowing ash clouds of an erupting volcano, adding an otherworldly element to an already terrifying natural event. One of the most striking types of lightning is called sheet lightning. This occurs when the light lightning strike is obscured by clouds, and instead of seeing a distinct bolt, the entire sky seems to light up in a diffuse glow. This type of lightning often illuminates the sky for miles around, creating a surreal and beautiful light show, especially during nighttime storms. Another fascinating form of lightning is ball lightning, a rare and poorly understood phenomenon where a glowing, spherical object appears during a storm. Ball lightning is known for its strange behavior, often floating through the air or rolling across the ground. It can last for several seconds and sometimes even longer before disappearing, either fading out or exploding. Though it has been reported for centuries, ball lightning is still not fully understood by scientists, and its true nature remains one of the great mysteries of atmospheric science. Lightning's impact on the environment goes beyond its visual and auditory effects. It plays a critical role in maintaining the balance of the Earth's atmosphere. Lightning helps to convert nitrogen in the atmosphere into a form that can be used by plants. When lightning strikes, the intense heat breaks apart nitrogen molecules in the air, allowing them to combine with oxygen to form nitrogen oxides. These compounds dissolve in rainwater and fall to the ground, where they are absorbed by plants and used to produce proteins and other essential molecules. In this way, lightning contributes to the global nitrogen cycle, which is vital for life on Earth. While lightning is a natural and necessary part of our planet's weather systems, it also poses significant dangers. Lightning strikes can cause wildfires, especially in dry areas where the ground is covered in flammable vegetation. These fires can spread rapidly, consuming forests and grasslands, and threatening wildlife and human se settlements. Lightning can also cause significant damage to buildings and infrastructure. When it strikes a structure, the intense electrical energy can cause fires, explosions, and electrical surges that can destroy electronic equipment. For humans, the threat of being struck by lightning is real, though the odds are relatively low. Lightning can strike people directly, but more commonly, injuries occur from ground currents, side flashes, or conduction through metal objects. A direct lightning strike can be deadly, as the immense electrical energy passes through the body, potentially causing burns, cardiac arrest, or nervous system damage. Even when people survive lightning strikes, they may suffer long-term effects such as memory loss, chronic pain, or psychological trauma. Despite its dangers, lightning also serves as a source of wonder and inspiration. Throughout history, it has been a symbol of power, awe, and mystery. In many cultures, lightning has been associated with gods and divine forces. 
The ancient Greeks believed that Zeus, the king of the gods, wielded lightning bolts as weapons. In Norse mythology, Thor, the god of thunder, was believed to create lightning with his hammer. Even today, lightning continues to inspire awe, reminding us of the raw power of nature and our place within it. Our understanding of lightning and thunder has come a long way since ancient times, thanks to the work of scientists who have studied these phenomena for centuries. One of the most famous early experiments was conducted by Benjamin Franklin in the 18th century. Franklin's kite experiment demonstrated that lightning was a form of electricity, a discovery that paved the way for modern lightning research. Today, scientists continue to study lightning using sophisticated tools such as high-speed cameras, lightning detectors, and even rockets to trigger lightning strikes. These studies have improved our understanding of how lightning forms, how it behaves, and how we can protect ourselves from its dangers. In recent years, technology has advanced to the point where we can even create artificial lightning in laboratories. By using high-voltage equipment, scientists can generate controlled lightning strikes, allowing them to study the physics of lightning in a safe and controlled environment. This research is helping to improve our ability to predict lightning strikes, protect buildings and infrastructure from lightning damage, and better understand the role of lightning in the Earth's atmosphere. In the grand scheme of things, lightning and thunder are reminders of the incredible forces at work in our world. They are powerful, unpredictable, and awe-inspiring, and they serve as a testament to the complexity of the natural systems that govern our planet. As we continue to study and learn from these phenomena, we gain not only a deeper appreciation for the beauty and power of nature but also a greater understanding of how we fit into the intricate web of life on Earth.